welcome, 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 welcome to everyone. Welcome to Inspirational Connection TV, where we share, connect, and talk about all the things that inspire, motivate, and builds confidence. In this video tonight, we're going to talk about covered, how you are covered. The topic is I am covered, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Okay, so stay tuned to share in the conversation. TV live. If you don't know who I am and we have never, ever, ever, ever met before, I am Samantha of Inspired by Samantha Matthews Brand, and it is a lifestyle brand that promotes inspiration, motivation, confidence, and love. So please, please drop a comment, like, and share this video. Okay? And also, to get more inspirational and motivation videos, do not forget to turn on that notification bell, subscribe to the channel so you will not miss a video, you will not miss an upload, and you will also help support my channel. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I do uh, upload. Okay? to thank everyone that has subscribed to my channel already. I am now at 169. 169 now. I'm trying to get that screen set up. Okay, 169 subscribers. And I really appreciate all of you that took the time to subscribe to watch my videos. And I hope I'm doing something right. If I'm not, please leave that also in the comments below so I know what I need to do to get your subscriptions, okay? But just, um, just want to thank everyone that has already subscribed to my channel. Now we're going to jump right on into the um, words of affirmation. As I always do an affirmation, we're going to go right on ahead into that right now. And... We know that positive words are essential in our daily lives. They are so needed, okay, in your life. Um, if I didn't have positive words sometimes, if I didn't encourage myself sometimes, trust me. Like, yeah. Another day we'll talk about that, right? But positive words we know are essential to our daily lives, and using words of affirmation is a powerful way to command positivity in your life. So the word of affirmation for today is, and I'm just going to go into my jar and we're going to pull out an affirmation and then we'll read it and then we'll speak it over our lives, okay? So I'm just going to go right in and I'm going to pull it out. Okay. And, ooh, this one says, I am rare. I am rare. And what you want to do is look yourself in the mirror whether you wake up in the morning or before you go to bed at night, and you want to speak this over yourself. You want to say, I am rare, okay? You want to speak it with power, and you want to command it throughout your day. Now, what I love, love, love about this product, it's that it's unique because it encourages and it builds your confidence, and that is what you will get when you use these words of affirmation daily. Now, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for more inspirational products that's available to you. Okay? Now let's get straight into another segment of Samantha's View Straight from the Heart. And like I said, the topic tonight is you are covered. Now one of my favorite quotes is, um, it says you are covered when the weapons form, they will not prosper over your life. The scripture says, um, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Okay, I know many of you know that scripture very well. 
Uh, I'm going to read a different version for you. It says, no weapon that formed against you um, shall prevail and will every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the Lord, um, of the servants of the Lord, um, the clears the Lord. And that's in Isaiah 44, 7. And I do have a product, um, a t-shirt that says, no weapon, Isaiah 54, verse 7. That will also be on the link on um, the description purchase that shirt and on the back it says hashtag I am covered now there are there is a divine divine grace and protection from God and it only comes from him the Psalms 20 the 23rd Psalm is one of my favorite one of many one of my many favorites um, scripture that I love to go to and I'm gonna just break it down for you a little bit um, the first scripture says the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want and there are many times when we worry about our needs and um, we forget what the scripture says a lot of times we worry about our tomorrow what we're going to eat or what we're going to do how we're going to make it and we forget that the lord says he is your shepherd when you think about a shepherd that's leading his flock his sheep he provides for his sheep he makes sure they're fed makes sure they're taken care of and that's the first scripture says I shall not want to so anything good. He says, nothing good will I withhold from my people. So that's the first thing in knowing that you're covered, that you know that. In Psalms 23, 23, it tells you, right, you shall not want. The second verse says, um, make it into my ground and bring it into pastures. And this part, um, it's, I love the the point about green pasture. When you think of green pasture, you're thinking of God's provision of subsistence, security, and serenity, right? His abundance in your life, the renewal of your mind, the renewal of everything that has to do with you, your growth, and he uses, and, and this green pasture is also to flourish, you know, you'll be able to flourish. Um, so when he talks about, he'll lead it in, um, you, um, you make it you to lie down in green pastures, meaning that you're going to be of abundance. Okay? There's going to be both your substance, your substance, right? He provides that when he allows you to lie down in those green pastures. It says, He leadeth me besides the still waters. Still waters, I, when I was doing some research on this topic, still waters um, are waters that flow very slowly, right? And it's calm. They bring, they bring so much peace and rest to, like you know, to your spirit, to calm you. It's a calmness, and one of the most relaxing things if you ever um, buy those um, sound things when you're trying to sleep, and the the sound of the water that's bubbling like a bubbling brook or a flowing stream of water is, is something that brings you to a place of calm where you can focus without distraction. So when, when at night you want to sleep and you need that calm, um, calmness to fall asleep, playing water streams in the background, sometimes for babies too, they have that sound that you pay for babies and that puts them to sleep because that's the stillness in the water. When that scripture said, he restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Now, restoration um, is like to bring you back to a place of comfort, right? When you restore something, you're bringing it back to a place of comfort. And that is a wonderful thing. That is a wonderful thing to be restored. You may have lost something. You may have been in a place where you are hurt and you're going through different struggles in your life. And to be restored, it's a beautiful thing. Think about relationships sometimes. Um, friendships. Maybe you have a best friend that you haven't spoken to or something happened. You haven't spoken to them in like years. And that relationship has been restored. That is a beautiful thing. Think about a father and a child. That sometimes a parent may have abandoned that child. And that relationship has been restored. So those are things when it says, um, he, he restored my soul. You think of being restored. There's nothing more precious than being restored to your father. The next scripture says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And I'm just breaking this down a little bit. This, this, this psalm is a really go-to when you're feeling like you're you're alone or you're not, you know, you don't have any comfort. Psalm 23 is a really good psalm 
to read and to dissect and to go through it and to to meditate on the words. And it says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear no evil. Okay, it doesn't matter what you're going through. Because he will be your comfort. Okay? It will be your comfort. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter how hard it is, how hard it seems. You can't do it. It says, it says, um, shadow of that, the the shadow of that. Evil, you will not for even. Evil is always around us, right? But we have to decide what are we going to choose. Are we going to choose life or are we going to choose death? And Christ gives us the option to choose. He gives us the option to choose. Okay? Now, this next, um, this one gets me all the time. The next one gets me all the time. It says, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. In the presence of my enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup run it over. There's a, 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 a quote that I love to say, and it says, God has a tendency of picking up like a nobody, right? Somebody that's nothing, that has nothing, right? To be a somebody in front of everybody. Now, not in the back, not in the front, in front of everybody without consulting anybody. And a lot of times, God prepare you for things and he puts you, he puts you, he elevates you in front of people that are, have always put you down. Okay. He, he, he promises you that it doesn't matter what it is that you're going through. He will always, he will always fill you to the point where your, it says your cup runs over. And where is he doing this? In front of your enemies. In front of your enemies, not in the people that are always with you, the people that are always, you know, the naysayers, right? And he said he has, a, he will make you into somebody in front of them, and he won't consult them. He doesn't have to go to them and ask them, well, you think I should bless Samantha today? You think I should bless Sandy today? Right? He's not going to ask nobody. He's going to do it because why? He's you are his child. You are his child. And that's the God that I serve. I don't know about you, but that's the God I serve. And I have testimonies that I can tell you I've been there, done that, know that God will do what he says he will do. It doesn't matter if John, Mary, Lou, Sue, or anybody has a problem with it because he doesn't have to con make, consult anyone. The next one says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, I want you to take only one word in here you should always remember. And it's surely. Sure. The word sure is definite. That word is definite. It's not a maybe. He didn't say maybe. He didn't say sometimes. He didn't say only when you are good, right? You think that, okay, I'm doing good. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. So God is going to protect me. God is going to give me mercy. All it is in my life, I'm gonna be good. No, he never said that. He never gave you an ultimatum. You have to do this if you want. He said, surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Okay, and I want you to always go back to this Psalms whenever you feel like you are not being protected. Whenever you feel like there's things that are, there's evil that alerts around you. Always go back to Psalms 23 and tell the devil not today. Tell the devil that not today. You're not going to have, you're not going to take control of my mind, my thoughts today. Because I remember Psalms 23 and I know that God said he will be and I shall not want. So it may not be a physical thing. It may be peace. Right? It may be comfort. It may be that joy that you're longing for. He said you shall not want anything. And when you can when you can go back to that song and, I say it and read it out loud and say to him, say, God, you told me this. So why would I worry if I'm going to be protected or if I'm going to be covered? Why would I worry about the weapon that is forming against me? And the thing about that scripture, it says no weapon that is formed. It didn't say they may form or they're going to, they're, they're, you know, it's a possibility, right? They are going to form. They are, they will form against you, but they shall not prosper. They will not prosper. Okay, and we remember that we have been delivered. When God died, on the cross, when Jesus died on the cross, that's when we were set free. That's when we were delivered. Okay, he died for our sins that many years ago, and it's still the same today. 
okay? And remember that he said it, and so it is. If he said it, it is so. Right? We know that there's a song that says, um, my God is a way maker. Um, I don't love to sing that song. We sing it all the time at my church. And now it's like missing me. I, like, like I'm forgetting it. Like, I don't remember what it is, but yeah. Um, way maker, miracle worker promise keeper, light in the darkness, right? Those words did not just come up out of nowhere. That's who he is. That is who he is. And there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing in this world that he cannot handle, he cannot take care of. There's absolutely nothing. A scripture says um, in Thessalonians 2 verse 3, um, I think it's 2 Thessalonians Second Thessalonians 3, um, it says something, um, the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Um, God promises us that. It doesn't matter what it is. He promised that he will protect you. He promises that he will protect you. We don't want to fear. We do not want to be afraid or of fear. Fear is from the devil. Fear is a thief. So do not allow fear to rob you from your joy and your peace. Because at the end of the day, if you're worried about being covered by God, if you're worried about being protected, you have fear. You, you, you're you're, you're uh, worried and, if, and, a, and worry is a part of fear. Okay, because you're saying, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to make it through this one. Don't be afraid when you have anything to do that is difficult or necessary. Don't be afraid. Sometimes we are placed in situations that we don't know how we're going to make it out, we don't know how we're going to do it, and we worry and we're afraid. I'll give you a little testimony, um, so how quick I can make this. Um, uh, I came here from Jamaica, and um, you know, I didn't have all my documents or all my paperwork, and able to, after a couple years, um, I got a driver's license, and, you know, normally when you don't have any documents, they give you like a temporary, you could bring some things in, and you were able to get a temporary, and I had a, a driver's license that expired, I think it was maybe like two years or so I had a driver's license for, I'm not sure the exact um, year, but it expired, right, and I had a car, you know, I had, I had so many other things, and it expired, but I was still driving now don't nobody do this okay don't you do this because don't, don't do it i did it because i have faith okay i did it because i wasn't afraid i did it because i was strong at the time and i'm still strong today but i was strong at the time i was very courageous to do something like that but i had no choice i had no choice and i was driving one day and i was following behind my mother we were driving, we were driving somewhere we we're driving and um, she was going in front of me and I was behind her and she turned off and I immediately turned off right behind her. There was a vehicle that was coming towards me and I didn't see the vehicle and I, if literally, if I didn't go as fast as I did, the vehicle ran right into me and it was a cop. And at this time I had, um, my license expired and it was a cop and he pulled me over. And he came right behind me and whoop, whoop, and pulled me over. And... I sat in the car and he came up to me and he said, um, can I see your driver's license? And I said, uh, sure, here you go. And I handed him the driver's license and my mom immediately jumped out of her car. She's like, no, don't give it to him. I'm like, I have to. And so he asked for it and I have to give it to him. And I handed it to him and then immediately my mom is coming towards me. And when she comes towards me, the officer says, ma'am, stay in your car. Do not move. Do where are you going? Stay in your car. And she said, that's my daughter. She was following me. And the officer says, he said, okay, come over. He called her over. And he literally had the driver's license in, you know, had it in his hands. And he began to speak. And he said, where are you going? And mom said, we're just going to do something. I don't remember what we're doing. It was so long. It was so long ago. Trust me, it was so long ago. God is good. God is good. And, um. He had a driver's license in his hand, and then he began to talk. And when I say talk, not just any regular talk, he began to minister to us. He began to tell us how God is good, God is faithful, 
God is a provider, God is a protector, he began to minister to me and my mother. The, the comfort began to minister to, 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 for me, to, um, to me and my mom in that very moment with my driver's license in his hands. With the driver's license in his hands, he began to minister. And he continued to minister until he said we should go and be careful. And if there was anything that we needed, we could reach out to him. Now that was nobody but God. I was doing something that was not, first of all, I shouldn't even be where I was. Okay, That's the first thing. I shouldn't even be where I was. But I said early, do not be afraid when you have to do certain things. If you trust God and God knows that you're doing something, not because it's um not because it's like sometimes we we say okay god is going to protect us and we're doing bad things no 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 please do not get me wrong anybody that watched this do not get me wrong i was i was only doing what i was told i, I came here from this country i needed to go to school i needed to live i needed to do what was necessary right and i had an expired driver's license I had expired and I couldn't fix it at the time. I wasn't able to fix it at the time. It wasn't because I got tickets either or I had any problems as to why it was expired. It just expired because, you know, I, um, my document, I needed to provide more documents. But I'm saying this to say that we need to learn how to trust God and know that if he said he's going to protect us, he's going to protect us. The scripture said, be strong and courageous. Okay, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Okay, it doesn't matter who them is, but you don't want to be terrified. You don't want to be afraid because God said he will never leave you nor forsake you. And that day, that day, okay, because I trusted him, faith in his words and I believe that he said that he will protect me I believe that he said he would he will provide for me he will be there when I'm in trouble hello right I remain calm and the, the officer ministered to us we know that God's word never lied and his word never lied. he doesn't lie in his word he said it and it is so okay he said it and it is so Another um, scripture says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned and the flames will not set you away. Now, a few weeks ago, I had another video that I talked about um, fireproof. How to be fireproof. Check out that video on how to be fireproof somewhere here on the screen okay and it tells you give you a few steps and pointers how to be in fire and not burn to be in fire to go through the fires of life and not be burned god promises to cover us but we have to open up our hearts to him we have to go to him right we have to meditate on his word to be able to be able to be covered and to be protected by him. I'm gonna give you one more testimony. I remember um, this was in 2018 or mm, 18. I purchased a home and um, me and my daughter, and we were um, doing. I was doing some work on the house. I was doing some work on the house, and I do have in um, security. I was doing some work on the house, and there's a gentleman here that was working on it for me. And he ended up doing, um, he, he was here for a little bit later than normal. And I forgot to put the alarm on that night. And I remember a few, a few nights before, like maybe, I think it happened on Thursday. It happened on Thursday. So like from that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I kept repeating this scripture. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. I will wake up and I will repeat it. I will wake up and I will repeat it. I will wake up and I will recite the scripture. And I kept saying, what is wrong? I keep saying the scripture. So I was doing that from about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And um, and I just kept saying that scripture. Like, literally, like, I feel like I'm dreaming the scripture. And I kept repeating it, reciting it over and over. 
And that Thursday night when the gentleman left and the alarm was on, me and my daughter was sleeping and some kid, some kid decided, he decided now, okay, and the Lord allowed it too because the Lord, okay, we'll talk about that. He decided to enter my home. Okay, I'm going to see how nice I can make it. Okay, he entered my home without, he didn't knock on the front door, not on the back door, didn't call my phone, Sam opened the garage. He entered my, my home through a window and decided he's going to come in on, into my home and he's going to break in and he's going to take whatever he can take. He went through my jewelry, took a lot of my jewelry, watches, a lot of things that meant was of value to me. He went in through my documents. We just talked about a minute ago. I had my documents and he went through that. Rams that, that, took out some things out of that. Um, he did. He, I mean, he literally went through my office and tore everything apart, took some cameras, took a lot of valuables out of the home. And the room that we were sleeping in at the time, he came into that room and went into my pocketbook and took some, some things out of my pocketbook as well because I found my wallet outside of the bedroom. Now, me and my daughter were sleeping in that, same, in that bed in that very same room. And I didn't wake up. Normally, I'll go to the bathroom and tell my daughter is, if I need to pee, she needs to pee too. I don't know why, but if I need to go to the bathroom, mommy, I gotta go too. So that night, we slept like babies. We didn't wake up. I didn't wake up until it was like 7.30 in the morning when it was time to get her to go to school. And when I woke up, I saw all the lights on in the house and I saw my house was in disarray. And I remembered the scripture that says, a thousand shall fall that side, 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come right. And I didn't understand why I was repeating this scripture. I didn't understand why I was repeating this scripture. But God was telling me, that doesn't matter what it is, sweetheart. Nothing is going to harm me. If I was awakened that night, but God allowed me to be at peace. He allowed me to be at peace. Now, I was meditating on that word for a reason. Right? For a reason. For a few days before, my mind was at peace. I didn't have fear. I didn't even wake up. And this kid was in my house. He passed, came into the room, and and went into the other rooms in the house and, and, and he even sat down and had ice cream. And I slept. But the scripture says, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, ha, huh. right? I stayed in his presence. I was in his presence. I kept in I was singing, but I can, could not remember the song today to tell you the song. I couldn't remember the song, but the song that kept playing in my head as well. But that scripture, right? I stayed in his presence and I kept meditating on that word. But the Lord had some other plans, and we'll talk about that testimony today. He knew why that day that kid came into my home. Now, God, the, 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 says, the saying is, all things work together. It's the scripture. All things work together for the good to them that love the Lord. And it doesn't matter. Sometimes we go through situations and we do things that um, a lot of people are not pleased with. Or they're not happy with. Or you shouldn't have done that. Or why did you do that? And, and, and you know, they, they have all the reservations about your decisions that you make. But the Bible says all things work together. All things. All things. Yup, me. Ba the mother the aunt that had a baby out of wedlock. Me that had a divorce, me, all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord. He said he knows your end. He knows what is going to happen tomorrow. So why worry? Why worry about if you are, if you are covered? Why worry about the weapons that are forming against you? Don't worry about that. Do not fear. Do not worry about anything because you are covered. You are covered. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And let me take it a little step further. And no tongue that shall rise up against you, honey. So no matter what they're saying about you, no matter what they have had said about you, or what they are about to say about you, keep pushing, sis. Keep pushing. 
Keep doing what you were told to do, one. Keep doing what your dreams are, two. And don't, don't worry about anything because nobody controls your destiny but you. You are covered. And Thursday, we're going to talk about how you are enough as well. Because a lot of times we... We, we, we get into situations and we're we are figuring like, you know, well, nobody really sees me or, no, or nobody really understands what I'm doing or whatever the case may be, but you are enough for you. What you are doing is enough for what you, what God has placed in your heart to do. So don't worry. You are covered and there's not one weapon that will ever form against you that will ever prosper until God himself is ready for you. You will do everything on this earth that you are, that he has set out for you to do. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, if there is any, anything that you doubt, go back and read Psalms 23. Read it over and over. The entire six verses, read it and over and over and meditate on those words. And know that God he, will always cover you. Okay, and that's another segment of Samantha's View, Straight From The Heart. Now, as promised, I told you that I have other um, products that is available to you, and we're going to go ahead and go right into it now. Now, we all need daily inspiration, right, to motivate and to build our confidence, and I need Sam is dedicated to providing this for you in their products. And an additional product to the affirmation jar is the inspirational jar. Now this product is filled with inspirational quotes and scriptures um, to motivate you, to build you up. Um, like a lot of the scriptures that are my favorite, I have a lot of them compiled into that, into that jar. Almost fell, guys. Didn't break. Thanks. <laughs> and um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and I'm going to leave them with you tonight. Okay, so basically just going to go in and pull out one and we'll leave it with you tonight. Let's see. Let's see what this one says. And I don't know why. that I will leave with you tonight is the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Sis, you are covered. Guys, you are covered. He will give you peace. Do not worry about those weapons that are forming. Do not worry about that. Don't worry about what the doctor told you. Don't worry about that. Go to God about it. Okay? And he will give you peace. Okay? Now, you can have more affirmation and inspiration in these jars on my website. And the link is in the description somewhere. Okay? And it's actually rolling across the stream. So, you're able to go in there and you will see some of these um, products that I have also, I do have a shirt for tonight's um, topic. It says, no weapon, right, it's right here, no weapon, and it's Isaiah 54, verse 7. On the back, it says, hashtag, i cover. So you want to check that out. I'll be posting it up tonight, so it'll be there for you um, for tonight. Now, um, we transitions. Don't forget to leave. Um, thank you again. Thank you so much again for watching this live tonight. And do not forget to leave um, inspiration in the comment section below um, or list of topics that you would like for me to talk about. And if you find value in what I've said in this video, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and, um, so to get more of your inspiration and motivational videos and hit the notification bell as well so you will not miss another video. And for more drip, check out my vid other videos on the screen and see you in the next one. And remember, if you can do great things, do small things in a great way. Night!